like I'm father, like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man, like a four leaf clove. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, guys, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing on how to manage slash delete trophies on your modded Vita or TV using Trophy Manager. If you guys did like this video, please be sure to follow my latest social medias to know the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the prerequisites for what you need for this hack. In this video, you'll need a modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV using Hankaku, H Encore, or the new Trinity hack released by the Flow. And this requires that your Vita or PSTV is on firmware 3.60 or from 3.60 to 3.70. And also, you need Trophy Manager VPK for this process you also need trophies and also what you need is files of the ftp client if you decide to ftp files over and you'll need the latest version of vita shell and last but not least you'll need a usb cable if you're going to transfer your files basically from your vita to your pc directly with that being said let's go ahead and get into the main tutorial Alright guys, so assuming that you followed all of the prerequisites and got all the items and tools you need for this video, we could go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. So as shown here guys, I'll have a link in the description below like I do all my videos. Um, every tool I use will be in the link in the description below. You'll need uh, this trophy manager.vpk and with this trophy manager.vpk it will allow us to manage and slash delete our trophies. Primarily if you guys want to delete our trophies. And you want to delete certain trophies and you don't know which uh, games are which this is a very easy method I know I spoke about it a little bit on like a lot of my Vita trophy tutorials but this method is way much easier for you know the common user so that's why I decided to make this video so once you have your trophy uh, manager VBK, what you want to do now is go ahead and open up FileZilla and what you need is basically to transfer over our files. You could also do this via a USB cable depending on you know if you want to do it that way but for this tutorial I'm just going to do it with FileZilla so I'm going to just have that um, minimized on the corner right there. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well but what we need to do now is go ahead and go into our Vita. So let me go ahead and switch over right now so you can see my Vita. Let me go ahead and open it up. All right, so y'all guys should see my PlayStation Vita on the screen as of right now. What we need to do is make sure our Wi-Fi is on and now we need to go into Vita Shell. So let me go ahead and open up Vita Shell. And then within Vita Shell, once it pops up, what we need to do is go ahead and make sure we have our trophy. So the way we could do this, I already have um, basically the screen up. So actually, I'll start from the beginning. So once you open up Vita Shell, you basically should see all your directories. If you go into UR0, scroll all the way down to user and then 00, zero to trophy. And basically, if you see config and also the data of folder and you both both see the um, MP com IDs, that means you have trophies installed or, you know, a very easy way is just to check your trophy app if you have, you know, of course, trophies installed. So that's one of the uh, steps we needed to take. But assuming that y'all did that just now, what we need to do is go ahead and hit start. Make sure that on where it's a select button, either by toggling left or right on your D-pad, Go ahead and hit or make sure you toggle over to FTP, then hit circle again. And then when you hit select, basically it should broadcast your IP address. Either write it down or have it memorized on a screen. And what we need to do now is go back into FileZilla. So that's what I'll do now. And then go ahead and type your IP of choice. Because what we're doing now is basically transferring over our file so we can manage our trophies. So go ahead, as you see here, type your IP. Always the port for the PlayStation Vita, guys, is 1337. Go ahead and just hit OK if you get that little error message. And now what we need to do is go ahead, minimize this out, and then take our trophy manager.vpk, go into UX0, and then just transfer it over. And then you should get this little notification if you're using Windows on your screen. What we need to do now, we could just go ahead and minimize that. And now we're going to go back out to our PlayStation Vita. Of And now once we hit circle, what we're going to do now is go ahead and install the VPK. Since I dumped it in UX0, aka my memory card, what we need to do now is go ahead and install it just like any other VPK. So right now it may take a little second. Make sure you have unsafe homebrew ticked in Hankaku settings. 
and then once that process is done it should pop back up on our live area so it shouldn't take too long right now since it's at 99 percent just waiting all right so now it's done what we need to do now is we could close out vita shell and now if we go into trophy manager it should look like this all credit goes to team one lua for making this uh project and it's, it has a very nice uh gui and interface it's pretty easy to use and then as you see here it basically will show that my trophy percentages and basically what trophies i have in here so i have devious dungeons 2 and fast striker and now from here basically it will cut also unlock the trophies as well if i were to basically um do that process but let's say if i wanted to delete the trophies all i would have to do is hit start and then basically it would ask me do i want to eliminate trophies i could just go ahead and hit yes and basically this is an easier way to you know delete trophies and if i wanted to do multiple all i would have to do is hit square and then that's basically how to delete trophies off your playstation vita rather than doing it the manual way just with fazula and ftp and then just trying to search for you know your game by using the mpcom id and just trying to search for icon zeros all day this process is much faster and you know a much easier way for you know the end user but with that being said hopefully you guys did learn something be sure to follow my um you know social medias and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Of course I love the llamas. Nice and silky smooth.